good morning everyone and welcome back to the Eileen the Massive channel. Um, I thought I'd film another vlog today. It is Wednesday and it's just after 8 o'clock so kind of in a bit of a rush because we have to leave at 20 past to make it to school on time so uh, if I seem a bit hurried that's why and also apologies for my oh dear wet hair. Uh, you'll just see it dry as the day progresses I suppose. So the girls have been up since about half six uh, with Dexter and now it's breakfast time. So I will spin you around in a second and show you what we're doing. So as in the last vlog, here's one I prepared earlier. The girls have got some kind of tripe thing. Um, again, we use a pre-packaged raw service just to make it super easy and they make sure it's got all the right goodies in and the girls are down here patiently waiting break good girls With uh, what's your Instagram, Joe? Uh, at Joe Far Alive. At Joe Far Alive. <laughs> Give what Joe a, a follow. What a plug. <laughs> Sorry about my uh, state. I've just been out for a walk. I wasn't. I wasn't vlog ready, was I? No. Yes, good down. Try and get you up. The hardest task when training. She's getting her to sit up. Getting her to get back up. Yes! Yay! Good sit! Good sit! You. So this little one, not so little one, is now moving on to her second training session of the day. So we, she did a training session this morning, which you will have seen some clips of with Joe, And then now she's going to do another training session also with Joe, But this time we are filming it for some new content that we've got coming up. So I'll add some clips here. Sit. Yeah. Sit. Yes, good sit. Good sit down. Yes, good down. Good down. Sit. Sit. Yes, good sit. Down. Yes, good down. Spin. Spin. Yes, good spin. Good spin. Spin. Yes, good spin. So we have just taken Eileen to pick this guy up from school, haven't we? <laughs> Did she walk really well for us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we're just hanging out in the field because it's turned into such a lovely day. So you've not really seen much of her in a crate today, but she has had a little nap in a crate in between those training sessions that she's been doing. And, and here's a glorious stick. And there's a glorious stick. And, and now another glorious stick. Well, and same, another glorious stick. And another glorious stick. It's the same glorious stick though. Instagram is mm -hmm. at Eileen the Master. Mm -hmm. 
So I apologise for the epic fail that was yesterday's vlog, but thought I'd carry on today. We are on the way to school. Here's Eileen down here. This is actually the first time that I've taken her by myself. So Will's been coming with me every morning and evening while we've been walking her. So we'll see how it goes. literally so hard to film a walking to heel when I'm by myself but there she is the only time she's kind of like stopped is if a car's going past but all I have to do is sort of say heel and remind her and then she carries on so I think with even more socialization just as we keep doing this she's just going to get better and better and um, we're celebrating our successful walk with some playtime in the garden with puppy so obviously Puppy does get walked as well, but she goes further than just to school and back. So um, Will tends to manage her walks. And then I do Eileen. But they are still absolutely best mates. Aren't you girls? So I let them have a bit of a play and then it'll be some crate time because I have got some work to do. <laughs> yeah we've had another good day with Eileen today so you will have seen me do some training with her so I kind of used the um things that Joe had been doing with her yesterday that I watched um obviously because I filmed it um so he'd been doing some different stuff with her which I have talked about over on Instagram stories if you're not following us Eileen the Mastiff um but basically what we were covering at the minute is her going from um, instead of just doing sit on its own and then down on its own, we're kind of doing sit, then down, then back to sit from down, if that makes sense. So it's not just like they're not separate commands. They're now we're like building them together into like more of a routine, which is awesome. And it keeps her really engaged then because it's like one command after another, which keeps her more engaged. If you let her wander off, then she will, obviously. Um what else are we doing? We've been doing um, a little bit of stand, um, which few people have asked me about. So we're doing that for her. It makes training easier because we can encourage her to stand back up if we want to do any kind of obedience that requires her to be standing. Um, but also it might be useful in future situations. You know, like if she decided to lie down in the middle of a road, which you never know, um, that could take her fancy one day. So we just think that if we can teach her to stand from lying down then or from sitting actually um then it will be useful so to do that we just like get the treat and then like pull it towards us like that um and that sort of encourages her to stand up to in order to reach the treat so we're in the very early stages of that one and also the very early ages what ages stages of spin so using the treat as a lure to spin her around and after training, we went on the school run again. So she was amazing. And it was actually like the best school run that we've done. So I did it by myself again today um, without Will, like I did this morning. And it was just so good for socialization. So we got in, um, she met some people, she met some children, which was actually like our socialization task for today anyway. Um, and she also met a dog on a lead for a first time. So, um, like, pat, like really close to one another because it was as we were picking them up. Sorry, I'm looking over there because she's on the floor. Um, yeah, like really close to one another. So they got to say hello and stuff. So obviously she's met loads of dogs and done loads of dog socialization. Um, but often off lead, um, because of obviously the type of breed that she is, we haven't been taking her on like really long walks where lots of other people tend to go with their dogs so that was a really great experience for her to 
meet that other dog and she just yeah they had a bit of a sniff of each other a bit of a lick and then we moved on and it was totally fine her heel work is coming on loads so we'll do a follow-up video um on that either on this channel or on the um training channel so she's just honestly amazing like i can't put into words how well she fits in on, with our family and i know that like we always go on about finding the perfect breed for you but she is the perfect breed for us so it's true really thinking spending that time thinking about what we wanted in a dog and what we were looking for for our family and our lifestyle and not necessarily ours as a whole family but also for me personally um because obviously with Eileen I have taken more of a lead than in when we've had previous dogs so it was super important that it was what I needed in a dog and what I was looking for and taking her to school and back the last few days has just really cemented that for me it's everything that I that like I wanted really um so and that's her done as well which is what's so great about it for me is I don't have to worry like obviously Will takes like Sully and Puppy out on much longer walks um but she doesn't need to she's done she's chilled she's chilled for the rest of the day obviously we've done her obedience work and stuff but other than that she literally just relaxes all day which is just perfect for what we need when we've got enough energy in this house so um there we go so what our plans for the rest of the evening I'm just about to feed them their tea then we'll have a cuddle on the sofa and then it'll be bedtime. So yeah, I'll see you again soon. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it's a bit random, a random array of stuff and just me chatting absolute rubbish for the last ooh, three minutes. Oh no, and there was another clip or oh, probably more like five. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, hopefully you subscribe to the channel to see more of me waffling. Um, and also more videos if you've got any questions for any q and a's then just leave them down in the comments because we'll film some of those um coming up and make sure you follow me on instagram eileen the mastiff not me you're kind of following eileen really um and that's about it